Hey everybody, welcome to Truth Be Told. Welcome to another edition of Truth. I pray today that your eyes and ears are open to receive the truth of God. You know, I talk about the, the way we think uh, so often because it bears repeating. You know, the Word of God should be so fluent in us that it should be our default. Because so many of us say that we know the Word of God, that we believe in God, but it, there's no evidence in our life that we do. You know, I tell people the equivalent of having a credit card with unlimited funds. You got it in your pocket, but if you ain't using it, it does you no good. The Word of God, if you know it, knowing the Word and having revelation on the Word are two different things. I pray today that you have revelation on the Word of God, that your eyes are open so that you may be able to activate the Word of God in your life today. I pray this in the glorious name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So guys, I want to talk to you about something, something that is not an... Uh, uh, an easy subject because so many of us lose trust in God because we ask ourselves, why God, why? There's so many questions that even myself uh, find it difficult to know the answers because you know what? I don't know the answers, but I trust God. So I'm going to go ahead and ask the hard questions today, right? Uh, we ask God, why God, why? We deal with so many hard questions and difficult circumstances, right? Uh, example, this is a hard one for all of us to swallow, but a child is molested and the perpetrator is never found. Mm, that's just, that's a, that's a hard pill to swallow. A retired couple loses their life savings to a scam artist. A gang member murders your family and gets off on a technicality. Why, God, why? Where is God in these circumstances, you ask yourself, right? Why do bad uh, things happen to good people? Why do bad people sometimes get away with things? Why, God, why? I asked myself many questions until I had a revelation on the character of God. But when life doesn't make sense, we must remember the important truth. There are some truths that are so valuable that if we hold on to these truths, it it may still not make it easy to swallow that pill, but you'd, you, you're able to swallow it, honey. That's the difference, okay? You need to remember this one important fact that man, not God, man brought suffering into this world. That's in Genesis 1-3. All right? God created a perfect world, but mankind sin, our choices, is what damaged it. Let's remember that. If we remember that, we won't blame God for our circumstance. So we'll know that we're the ones that open the door, okay? Our present world must be the best possible world for restoring mankind to God. Why? Because that's God's goal. That's in Ezekiel 18.23. See, God gave us free will. He gave us a free choice, right? And freedom that allows people to make bad choices. And that's the truth, guys. But we can always choose to do the right thing. That's in Genesis 4.7. We may be confused by the evil, suffering that we see in our world, and we may not fully understand why God allows it to happen, but we can always trust God's character is 100% good and loving. That's something that will never change. God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We lost a very good earth when we sinned, but we gained a perfect eternity when we repent and choose to follow God. Now, see, we ask the wrong questions. We shouldn't be asking God, why, God, why, right? Why, God, why? We should be saying, Lord, thank you. Thank you that you gave us a way out. Thank you that you gave us eternal salvation. Thank you that you gave us a path to walk in that we can get out of our consequences. Oh, my goodness. We focus on the wrong things. So the next time you ask, why, God, why? Remember, we're the ones that brought it. God gave us a way out. So let's start thanking and praising him for the way out that he gave us and for his love and his faithfulness. And we're, we live in a fallen world. We live in a fallen nature. It's up to us to choose to do the right thing every single time, regardless of what happens. It's a choice, guys. Don't ever forget, you have a choice today how your life turns out. Not what happens to you, but how you respond to it. And that's the key. I love you guys. Man, I am on choice road. And Awareness Avenue, where you at? Holla.